Look, Gator, I think the Dimorphodons are trying to eat you. They're attacking me. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> hey there everybody Mazion reporting for duty and today we're gonna do a couple of things one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna look around at the new stuff there's a bunch of new stuff in the game uh due to the halloween event and if you can see right here there are tons and tons of Pumpkins, and I've already grabbed a bunch of pumpkins, but there are a few patches within my base area. And so one of the first things that I wanted to do is I wanted to do up a pumpkin like I did in real life in the game. So that's what we're going to do real quick right now. We need to find a good place for the pumpkin, though. I don't know what the best place for the pumpkin would be. I think maybe in the bedroom. We're going to go up into the bedroom. We're going to put down a pumpkin, and we're going to make it look cool. Or as cool as... Azion can make something look. Uh, and then I need paintbrush. Where's my paintbrush? My paintbrush is not in my inventory. Must be in the miscellaneous thing. Where is the paintbrush? There it is. So we'll put that in the zero slot. We'll go back up. We're going to paint it up. And I'll show you guys. I, and I actually, I, I already kind of tried to do this. And it's really difficult to make it look like the pumpkin I did this year. I'm going to try... But I don't think that it's going to be good. You guys on Instagram who follow me on Instagram saw it. But I don't... It's really difficult to, to paint things in this game intricately. And uh, I don't know how I'm going to make... Because what, what it does is it makes it look like the negative space. Like it's lit up from the inside. That's why it's the bright orange here. And so what ends up happening is around the mouth area, I carved a bunch of teeth. A bunch of... Gangly big teeth, and I don't know if I can really do that because I'm used to doing it the other way, right? But as you can see, we've got a black, we've got black paint, and it's not making black, it's making glowy pumpkin look. Come on, all right. And then I did the nose kind of like this, and up like that, and down like that, and up like this. That's kind of how the nose was this year. And then I did this big giant. Maniacal smiley face, but so here here's the, the trick is that the negative space Was teeth so like there's a big tooth right here And there's another big tooth and I can't make him look as sharp and and crazy as I did on my pumpkin Yeah, no, it's very difficult to make him look like good teeth And eh. All right, and then on the bottom I had another big smiley area and There were teeth on that side, too So we got teeth here and another tooth see this is just not not coming out like I want it to ah, We're gonna paint the whole thing and Then you could we could have drawn the teeth with the erase Maisie was not thinking today But man, it's so hard to paint all of the space and then like to make it look like a good mouth without having all these weird bumps on the top and the bottom All right, so now we've got all the space painted Except for there we go. Now we're gonna try Make teeth Kind of like that sort of Wow, this is really bad guys I'm doing my best. This is just looking crazy. Like, not really good. Oh, a tooth here, maybe. And then a tooth here. Actually, it's not it's not super bad. Or now that made it that made it worse. Oh no, I made it move. Stop moving. Another tooth. This is better than I thought it was going to be. It's coming out a little better. And one last tooth. All right, well, it's kind of... It's kind of a pumpkin tooth face. Oh, no! Yeah, he's got a scar. All right, that's it. 
So I made a pump. Oh, look, it glows. That's not too bad. It could be worse. It could be worse. All right. I think I'm going to have to do more of those to get, get the hang of it. So there are another couple cool things that they added to the game. They added bats and spiders. And we're going to tame a spider today with Slip Gator. But before we do that, there's also supposed to be a scarecrow. Come down. No, stop. Okay, no, come down. It's supposed to be a scarecrow and headstones, and I'm going to go look around for them. I think that these patches of pumpkins are all over the place. So we're going to take Maztastic, who's now got 269% movement speed, and see if we can find another patch of pumpkins. Is that Gamma jacked? No. Nope. So we're looking for a scarecrow, and I, I haven't seen one yet, but I've been looking for him. And I saw a, scare a scarecrow in a video, like, on a hill. So we're going to kind of look around at hills. But this is my first time doing anything uh, in the game for the for this event was just today. I, I haven't really messed around with much. Is there anything up here? Hey, look! Gravestones! And I heard that you can grab these, too. Oh, you can! Okay. Oh, and it's just like a gravestone party. Are they different? Do they look different? Maybe they just are all weird when you place them. 96 weight. Wow. Does that make us slow on Astastic? It does. Let's go back and and put some around the base real quick, and then we'll see if we can find a scarecrow. I'm not sure where they're located, um, but I do want, you know, some pumpkins and scarecrows and stuff. We're going to we're going to decorate the black fortress. Um, and I think I'm going to I think I'm going to paint the floors of the Black Fortress a different color. Because people have been complaining that it looks kind of washed out around here. For me, on my screen, everything looks really cool. Like, there's some shininess to it, and everything's fine. I think there's a couple of things. When you look far away in the game, there's this weird effect that happens with the floors, the way they're painted like this. And I don't know if it's just not as noticeable, but things that are farther away are grayish. So I'm going to try painting the floors gray, I think. I'm not going to do it today. But that's something I'm thinking about doing. And so we've got these headstones now. Let's see what we can do with them. We'll just kind of stick them around like everywhere. Oh, they're big. And they're all the same, I guess. I wanted like, I was hoping they were going to be different. So let's, wait, maybe one right here in front of the light. And then, is it is it always the same headstones? It is always the same headstones. Set sign text. Um, rip. All of the things. All right, so we so we know what those look like now. Uh, it's unfortunate that they don't they don't all look different, but we got a couple in there. And then so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these in here with all the rest of the stuff, and we're going to try to find a scarecrow. So I'm going to do that, and I don't know how long it's going to take, so I don't want to waste your guys' time. Um, so I'm going to look around, see if we can find one. Once we locate one, we'll be back with you. All right, so I've flown around, and I just went from pumpkin patch to pumpkin patch, and we finally found a scarecrow. They're really cool looking. They got a face kind of like the one that I was making, uh, only way better because I'm way not as awesome an artist. Oh, six scarecrows per? Oh, give me this other scarecrow. Oh, yeah, 12 scarecrows. So we can place those all around the base. That's going to be really cool. I actually didn't go too, too far, and with the 270% movement speed, it only take like a second to get back there. But uh, how much do these things weigh? I've got pumpkins on me. Drop the pumpkins. These weigh 48. Wow. So they're they're pretty weighty. But yeah. So as you can see, all around the land, it is autumn. We've got autumn things happening. The nights are longer. The days are shorter. It's all very spooky and mysterious. And there's onyx spawning in the in uh in my base, and they're kind of a pain. And so it's. Something that we're going to have to try to tame at some point. I don't know. I don't think we're going to do that today. I think all we're going to do today is tame ourselves an Aranio, which is uh, the name of the spiders in the game. We're going to try to come up with an Aranio so that we can uh, see how it works. Um, you know, in the caves, they shoot all the stuff, and and uh, they're, they're pretty hardy. But uh, we have to try to figure out. I guess they're passive tames, so we're going to have to put on bug repellent and do all of that, try to tame one. All right, we're back to the base. Let's stick scarecrows around. All right, so here we go. We got scarecrows in the slot. We're gonna put one in the pumpkin patch because why not? I've got my scarecrow in the pumpkin patch. I got pumpkin patches all over the place, but what about up in here? Decorate. I wonder how long we can decorate. Now we have to pick up a bunch of this stuff and put it in chests and whatnot. 
Uh, back there. That's a good place for one, right? And then what? Can we put one? No? No? I want one over here, too. What about... Why is it obstructed? I don't... Yeah. Polish. Scarecrow? Scarecrow! All right, so we got one there, we got one there. And they're not equidistant, which OCD states fix things. Anyway, we'll do it another time. <laughs> what else? Everyone's always coming. You know, I wonder if we placed like a line of scarecrows, if we can stop monsters from coming up here. Because they're always bugging me. And I say monsters and I mean dinosaurs. This is where they're always coming at my guys from. That's why you see the line of Spinos and T-Rexes. But now... We've got a big line of scarecrows to scare off all of the things. You stay away, female Anki 16. It's not working. She just doesn't care. All right. So those are some of the new things. Um, I'm sure all you guys have seen that stuff, but I haven't, and I want to play with them, so... That's pretty cool. We've got a couple of scarecrows. We've got a headstone up and uh, got to rip all the things. Things. Right. And yeah, so that was really fun. We got to play with a couple of things. Made a nice pumpkin. But right now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go get with the Slip Gator. And me and Slip Gator are going to definitely, definitely tame an Uranio today. And hey, we're back. There's a dead Brontosaurus and a Mazion here. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Not much. Have you seen these guys yet? No, this is my first look at it. I haven't seen anything. They're pretty crazy. They don't even have a butt cloaca. We're going to attack it? Oh. Yep, he's dead. We broke he's it. Dead. He's dead. We broke it. Yeah, he's gone. And I got a, I got a present for you now. Wow. Let's fly over here, and I'll give it to you. Okay. I think what's cool looking. They are pretty cool, man. There's one for the trike. There's one for the carno. Uh, one for the raptor. But I'll stick it on your bird here. Oh crap! I think it's in my. It's in my dino inventory. But uh, yeah, I'll squirt it in here for you. There at the bottom, you can see it, babe. Pretty cool. Bone bron bone Bronto costume. What the? I put it on my yeah. Bronto. Yeah, man, you'll have to put it on your Bronto. Later on, you can check it out. Sounds awesome. But there are supposed to be spiders and bats around. Me and Zul'jin kind of played around with it yesterday a little bit. They're supposed to be tameable. So I'm interested in trying to do that, man. I think we should try to tame a spider. Yeah, I'm down. I just saw him uh, up the beach near Poop City. All right, so let's try to do this. Um... I'm wondering if outside, I guess let's try to do like an outside tame. I don't know. Like, I've never tried to tame anything like this, like a spider with meat that is a passive, that's not really a passive tame. I guess it is a passive tame. It's going to be tricky, man. Yeah, I agree. Uh, do we know if they can be picked up? Well, yeah, the spiders can be, the bats can't. See, like there's a bat right there. But like, I mean, how could you tame it? Huh. Oh, you see, he's peeved off of me. Yeah, he's You want to go? Fighting. You want to go? Super Came bat. The darn thing. I'll, I'll stand still and then. Dude, oh, no, I can't you, even hit it. Now you stand no. still. All right, I'll stand still. It's on you. You stand still. Oh, no, it's on me. So now you, no, you it's kill on you. It. You stand still. Right. And this is so great. This is the, the best on it kill we ever. We got it. We got, we got it. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe we could like head into one of the caves to try one of those guys, but let's cut, head down the beach here and take a look for a spider to tame. Sounds good. All right, BRBs, beep. And we're back with a couple of trapped spiders down over here with some bug repellent on. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, this is not good. Uh, You're probably going to need to go grab me with an RG. Is it hitting you? Oh, no, he bounced me out. He bounced me out. So I was under the impression the bug repellent was supposed to work on these guys. Uh, it did it not work. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to really repel him very much. He seems to be pretty peeved off of me. Now, it now when it first came out, it didn't work on, on these guys. And then last night, I think in the Skype chat, a bunch of people were talking about it. And they were saying, 
get bug repellent. And so I was like, oh, maybe they changed it. Maybe it does work. Um, but it doesn't seem to. And I don't think this is a good spot for us to try to tame this guy. Like, I don't think I can get in there to get to do anything. And I'm not seeing anything like as far as um, there being like a press E to do anything or. Do you think it's like a Gigantopithecus where if you're behind them, they don't get aggroed? I don't know. Maybe. I'm stuck again, though. I'm coming. This is a really bad spot for this guy. Oh, I got the spider, not you. Well, that's good. That works. That'll work out. You know, and I can just break my way out of here. I had to drop um, my spider off the edge because it was continuing to destroy boots. I just kept going uh, after him over and over again. So I dropped mine oh, off the... Oh, I passed out. Oh, are you dead? Yeah, I passed out from Topor. No oh, good. So, so that was kind of weird. Maybe we can take a minute and try to, like, figure out exactly how we should be doing this, and then we'll be RBs. But, like, a, a, a sledgehammer straightforward frontal assault doesn't seem to be working. No oh, good. All right. We'll be RBs, peeps. And we're back. Mazion has brought a spider up to our amazing, his amazing special spider taming spot. Built us a while ago for wolves and mammoth. All right. So we're trying to find some information about this. Keep in mind, by the time this video posts, everybody will probably know how to do this. But this is our first time. And everyone's saying using bug, use bug repellent. There he is right there. And they're saying it's kind of like a giganto tame, kind of. Where we've got to be, like, skilled and stealthy and go up to it and squirt meat in its butt. Oh, I made it mad. Yeah, you can walk right up to it. You just can't touch it with your body. All right. So now that you've made it mad, we need to go, like, 74 miles away. Doing it. Did, did you use your bug repellent on it? I, I used it, yep. And I, I walked right up near it, and there was no issue. But uh, when I got... A little too close to it. It was. It was not happy. Okay. So, let's fly away and reset, and then we'll be our bees. All right. I fed it, and then it got peeved off of me. But I fed it one time, and I fed it regular meat. And I can tell you, the taming meter looks terrible. And it also looks like the taming meter may have reset. No, it still has its tame, even though. Oh, 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 it can't get out the doorway. It can't get out the doorway. <laughs> it came out of the box. Um, You know, maybe there's not a lot on this hill. There's like no dinos or whatever. And it it's really seems really hard to like come up behind it while it's in the box. What if we put it on the hill and then went up far away and let it reset then? Um, Yeah, I feel like that would be really, really tough because if anything attacked it or if it aggroed and moved away, um, it would be really difficult to get it back to where we want it to be. Um, I'm gonna guess that doing it in the box would be easier long-term, even though it's harder. You know what I mean? Yeah, I gotcha. Like, even though it might be harder to get to it once we get it at a good angle or something like that, like it'll, be, it'll work out a little bit easier. Sounds like a plan, man. Uh, I think he's still aggroed. I've flown very, very far away. His butt is towards you. All right, I gotta make sure the spoiled meat's in my zero slot. Going in. Ryan. Oh, it said feed, and then it got mad. Close the door. Was it amazing? <laughs> I, I didn't get to feed it, because it got mad. Oh. So that's the thing is like they say it's like a giganto tame, but I mean you walked in for an instant, tried to feed it, and it instantly aggroed you while you had bug repellent on. Right, and I, so, I didn't get too close. Like I I should uh, should yeah. have been out of range far enough. I saw you. Like so there's the only thing I can think of is that like because I don't know uh, we've flown so far away from this as to make sure we're we're re resetting any sort of aggro that it has. Um, I think Maz, I flew out to the water. Maz flew out to the volcano and back. So I, I'm not sure, man. Like, I'm not sure what, you know, I feel like we're doing something wrong, but I kind of can't figure out what it is. The big pain in the butt's what it is. Yeah, it seems to be really tough, but um, I want to try to do it. And I guess we'll just keep trying. Um, yeah, sounds like a plan, man. Um, so there is this. The side of my base that is empty. Yep, I think that's a good idea. Drag him over to that big open area that you have. Yeah, because there's I, I I just need to get my Dodic and and uh, two Rexes out of there, but 
nothing spawns sure. there. Nothing okay. does. All right. You got your spoiled meat. You got your repellent on. We're going to treat this like a giganto. All right. It looks like it's not aggro to anything. It is not. It is just sitting there. Okay. Going to feed it. I think I fed it. I, I think it might have turned around before I could. Okay. No, it doesn't say feed me and it's not mad. Okay. So and you have spoiled meat. Yep. But I did not feed it. Because it's not giving you the press E to feed. There you go. Oh, yeah, it is. You have to get really close. I fed it. And then get out of there. Get out of there. It's not mad. Oh, my God. It did work. It's just the. So, I think it was the confined area of the taming the box. Confined, they don't like small spaces. <laughs> they're claustrophobic. Right. Or it's really hard to get behind them when they're sideways in a, next to a wall. Yeah. But it seemed like when we were doing it, like, oh, he, like, instantly aggroed to my bird. He likes your bird. Oh, dude, did you see that? That's, like, definite scientific proof. Yeah. That's why I wanted he, to come in without my bird this time. Yeah, that's a good call, man. But, so, he they do not like any sort of... So, and the aggro range was really far. Like, it was a really long way. Now, with the spoiled meat, like, how good was it, do you think? As far as the taming effectiveness, was it like a sliver or like two slivers? I'm coming to look right now. It was, it was about a, it, about a tenth, maybe a, maybe a fifteenth. And I just so. Okay, so like the width of a dime, or like I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say, man. So if it was like cherries. Oh wait, is he mad at me? Yes. Oh, he's mad at me. You do not Why have insect repellent on, do you? No, I do not. And because it's got a gigantic aggro range, apparently. And it will remain mad at you until you get out of range. All right, I'm running. I'm running. Is it still after me? Yes. Is it still after me? Yes. Is it still after me? Yes. <laughs> Is it still after me? No. Okay. Now you can come see what the... Maybe. I want to try to feed it again. I can. I fed it again. Now is it like a half width of a quarter? It is like... Each feeding is about, I'd say, one twentieth of the bar, if that gives you any kind of idea. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. I just want to try to get up and see the taming -ness. And keep in mind, this is on a level 16, and we okay. have jacked up taming rates. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. The regular meat, I used regular meat on it, and it was like a sliver. So the, the spoiled meat is definitely working better. This is looking like we actually might, might actually do this. My God, we're going to tame a spider. I know. It's kind of amazing. Amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Don't let him see you. All right, I'm going to try to put meat in his butt. Do it. I did it. Oh, I, did I, it. I shoved it right in there. I watched, and it, it kind of winced as you did it. it was yeah, like, I, I feel like he didn't really, wasn't ready for my whole hand and my and the meat in the hand to be up in there. No. Don't get him peeved off. This is so much better than the containment thing. Like, this does work exactly like a Giganto. Um, it oh. does feel exactly like that. So this is way easier, man. I fed it again. You really, it looked like you punched me into its butt. I know, it's weird. It makes me feel <laughs> like it's aggroed right after, but it's not. Yeah, because it's like, Ugh! Right. Like, if you tried to put meat in my butt, I would probably aggro. Oh, definitely. You would aggro yeah, all day. I would get aggro. Really aggroed. I mean, I that one time in 92 with that girl, I mean. I'm going to try again. <laughs> I did it. I did it. You got mad. Yeah, I did. All right, so let's do this for a minute, and then BRBs when we have a tamed spider. Yay! 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 Nailed it! Is it done? Yes! Coming! Uranio level 22! Nailed it! It can't be stopped! We got a spider, man! Spider, man! 
We got a Spider-Man. He and sh is it a she or a lady dude or what is it? Not available. <laughs> not, not applicable. How do we know what kind of voice to give it? Um, it kind of talks like this. <laughs> it's like Charlotte from Charlotte's Web. It's right. I'm a spider, and that I am is... going to eat your face. Now that's like. I think I spelled Charlotte wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I uh, most yep. certainly did. Yeah, a little bit. All right, so if you're looking for the saddle in your engrams, by the way, don't search for spider. Search for um, Arenio, and it is, what, 18 engram points? And then that saddle requires 260 hide, 140 fiber, 100 keratin. Oh, wait, we got to look at the stats of this guy. Oh, we didn't look at the, the stats? I, was, I don't have it learned. I was going to get you the materials for the saddle. Oh, I'm going to bring the spider raid over here, and then we can do that, man. We'll nice. run the saddle and play around them a little bit. Sounds fun. Now, I, I still don't know if the bug repellent did anything. I, I don't know. Well, you were like, saying you... Go but, ahead. That one that one time you came over, you, you were... I mean, you were pretty far out of range. I think it has a great aggro range, and it makes it a little bit kind of wonky to tell what's going on. Yeah, um, it's hard. But I think if you have the bug repellent on, I think it's definitely doing something. Um, we could test it with a different one. Yeah, we could. We could try. But um, let's take a look at stats. 200 health, 170 stamina, 100 weight, 222 melee damage, 167 movement speed. It's so, a wimp. It's pretty much a big wimp. Wait, it isn't even going to be able to carry us. I don't think it will. We have to so, take off uh, all our clothes and ride so it what's naked. What's the point of the saddle? Um, let's ride it naked for fun. Do you have the saddle stuff? Uh... I know. I remember hide and and is it uh, all chitin. in here or where's all your stuff? I'm putting the I'm putting it in the smithy. We got okay. two hundred chitin, bunch of hides. And, I need, uh, need okay fibers. Sixty hide, bam, bam. See here. All right, I got it. It's on the way. We're cool. making it. It's happening. All right, I'm gonna go transfer all my items into one of these big vaults. All right, let's take a look here. I want to try to ride it, even though there's no possible way I could ride it. And there's this little saddle. Oh, yeah, I'm on it. Where are you? Foggy. I'm just sitting on it. Oh, it wow. It can't move at all. Even when you're naked, I, I think it might be too much weight. Woo! Oh, you're on it. All right. Can you walk? I got a T. I want to walk up walls. I wish you could walk up walls. That'd be cool. Give it to me. I want it now. Is all this stuff going in here? I'm just checking. All right. <gasps> Dude. Let me see. Oh, do it, it. It's it's a cool it's a cool down. I can't do it again right now. I'm pre I'm spamming it. Here it goes. Oh <laughs> baby. Woo. It squirts out stuff. <laughs> Are you light enough to ride it yet? You got all your armor on. Oh crap! You gotta right. take that off. I forgot. It's I so heavy. Here we go. I'm off. All right, let me try this thing out. Charlotte. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. I'm... Wait, walk, uh, walk at me I'm again. I'm stamina already. You, you walked under me, and I went over you. Uh, <laughs> what the you know what? We need is. We need rotten meat on this bad boy. Oh, really? That's true. Well, it needs food, right? right? That's what I'm thinking. Well, oh, all, sweet. All kinds all around here. Well, we can only give it like a oh, half that's right. one. That's right. Probably give it a hole. The only way... Well, no, man. I don't know. All right. I weigh 10. How much do you weigh? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is it faux pas it to ask an arc character how much they weigh? I weigh zero. You weigh zero? How do I weigh? I mean, it says ten. zero. Oh, it's because I've got I've got meat on me. I will wait. Twelve. It weighs twelve point three. So it's just like a scorpion. It can turn one hundred eighty degrees, which is cool. Right mouse button is the super lunge, and then no, that's left mouse button. Yeah. Left mouse button is the eh eh eh. Let me goo on you. You, you ah! kind of. It's weird when it's like that. You kind of look like the head of the spider. It's like. Kind of like a centaur, but made of tiny and a spider. Yeah. And you notice when you run on it, its butt like goes way up. <laughs> yeah, I did. 
Can you Man. walk up walls? Oh, that would be so ma- Oh! Oh! <laughs> You're going down. Oh, he doesn't like that at all. What's happening? No, <laughs> this is bad. Why are you doing that, spider? Can we jump? No jumping. Spiders jump like bosses. I don't know why they didn't add that. Yeah, I know. Well, we're a little bit under the world. This is a perfect screenshot. Oh, you are? <laughs> yeah, it looks like for me that we're under the world. Do you see it attacking too? <laughs> When, when we just, uh, like it was attacking sometimes. It there's, was kind of weird. There's dimos that fly around here, but it didn't like get it. Well, the thing's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. Woo! Yeah, don't I look like the head of the spider? <laughs> it does. It looks like you're like a, you got a spider body. It's weird, huh? <laughs> and we're back. And we're moving all strange. What am I doing? <laughs> Stop! Hammer time! Is that what you're doing? Something like that. And we're back with Charlotte spelled the right way. Oh, you spelled and it? <laughs> I didn't see that you changed it. We changed it. And these guys, you guys, you gotta be really careful. They're really, really wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> we took it over and we're playing with it a little bit and it was an Onik. And uh, it was like a, what was it, level 40 Onik, I think? Something like that. Yeah, and I was like, kill it! Kill the Ana! Kill it! Because it was like annihilating the spider. It was killing Charlotte. She was so wimpy. But, um, we upped her weight a little bit. She is pretty cool and fun. Nice! And she squirts out juice everywhere. It's weird. And at first, kind of difficult to tame, but really, at the end of the day, it was just like a Giganto. You just can't pen him up. Just like you can't pen up a Mesopithecus. Mesopithecus. Meso 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 and you can't tame up a Giganto either, really. But it you just can, doesn't work that well. You can wipe up a Mesopithecus. Yeah, a Mesopithecus. <laughs> wipe up your Mesopithecus. That's right. You're so fun. In the bathroom. In the poop bathroom. The poop. But yeah, all you got to do is just be really careful and shove stuff up their butts, and you're totally good to go, peeps. I don't see it's Cloaca. I don't know if it has one. It's got a stinger. Are we shoving it in the stinger? It looks like it's pretty much pretty compact in there and pretty yeah but and it doesn't look like we can mate them but still pretty crazy and i couldn't imagine doing a bat dude i think the onic would just be ridiculously tough i think it'll be fun i mean it's you know when we got to the point in this game where it's really easy for us to team most things i mean even like a rex or a spino we're just like oh stand on a hill and shoot it in the face you know no problem right but it, it, it this gives you know a little bit more of a challenge for us yeah, it's a little bit more of a challenge. It's pretty cool. And I feel like I've challenged I'm challenged out. <laughs> so That's gonna be it for today, peeps. Thanks oh. for hanging out, man. I had a great time. Me too, Slipgator. Thanks for hanging out, man. And we got a cool spider. But that's gonna be it for today, peeps. If you like the video, whoa. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. Be Made excellent to each other. Oh, we did it at the same time. Party on, dudes. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're keeping the spider at the base. It's only level 16. Uh, I think it was probably more of a pain to try to take it away. But you can just spam these web things. Look at it. It's so cool. Webs everywhere. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go get on Blackwing Face, or maybe not Blackwing Face, but I think he has my... Bronto costume that we got. Where's the Bronto costume? He does have it. We're going to grab it from him, and we're going to get on Mastastic, who's back on the roof. We're going to go up on the roof, get on Mastastic. We're going to go over, and we're going to put the costume on uh, the Beast, which is mine and Drax's Bronto that we tamed early in the series. When we get over there, put this thing on it. I can't get through. Let me through. All right, we're coming up on Poop City. And of course, the whole thing is not loaded. Oh, there's a couple of doors and half a tower. Oh, look, more doors. And there's the beast. All right, so we're going to put some stuff on the beast. I wonder what's going to happen to the stuff that we painted on it when we put the costume on. Boom. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't I didn't imagine how amazing this was going to be. I wonder, can we keep the costume on it forever? I hope so. Wow, that's really cool. I want to ride it around now. Oh, man. How awesome is that? 
getting dark around here. But that's so awesome. Back up. Beep, beep, beep. Ah, oh, so cool. I, I want a Bronto, another Bronto that doesn't have a platform saddle just so I can ride it around like this all the time. We need to see how many more costumes that we can get. But that's not going to be for today. If you like today's episode, folks, please press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, do it in the comments below. And as always, be excellent to each other, folks. Have a spooky day, folks. See you later. Mm. It looks spooky. It's a candy corn, guys. I don't know if you've seen this yet. All of the drops turn into candy corns. <laughs>